Hello everyone, welcome to In Production. So today I brought my scooter 9 Bell Max. Uh, if you are following my channel or subscribe to my channel, you know that I've been riding for like a couple months. And slowly, gradually, I've been kind of upgrading this scooter. So today I brought you three items that's kind of necessary for this scooter I find. Let's get to it. The first upgrade is this suspension seat made by Ninebot. It features big and soft memory foam seat for your ass meat and spring suspension that can hold up to 100 kilograms of your body fat. You can lift up the seat if you want to stick it up to your ass. And here is lock number one. And here is lock number two. It has a safety button so you can press this guy to fold and unfold your seat. Installation is very simple. You get two of these plastic wedges and four screw sets, washers, locking washers, and a hex screw. All you have to do is screw them on back of the scooter with the included Allen key. Well, how does it ride? Compared to the back-breaking non-suspension ride previously I experienced, it is much more comfortable. I tried on grass, gravel, and this weird wood path and the spring does the job very well oh look at that baby the second upgrade is this stainless steel base plate because this scooter has such a low ground clearance i bump into a lot of things and this thing is made out of plastic at the bottom that wears out like your underwear that you farted too much the kit comes with one base plate one torque ski and lots of Phillips screws. To install this mode first, you removed the uh, original 18 screw using the included Torx key. And then make sure to remove the plastic cover of the metal plate and then screw it on top of the original plastic covering with the Phillips head screws. Simple, right? But because new screw don't have the Loctite on like the originals do, I used a dab of super glue to secure them in place. I mean, you wouldn't want your scooter's battery to dangling around while you're riding, do you? And there you go, you have a protected stainless steel so it doesn't rust on the rain uh, base plate. So I tested uh, of with the rocks over there on the beach that I scraped it a lot, I smeared it a lot, but I don't see much of the damage done here. Um, there's maybe some scratches because of that, but there's no damage at all. It's clean. So one of the problem maybe I see is that the screws are like protruding out of the base. So if I scrape it in a wrong way, it might lose its teeth and I cannot remove it in the future or just cut the head clean off. But I mean, they have uh, 14 screws, so I don't think it's gonna go terribly wrong so one of the problem with this scooter is that it takes six hours to charge that's awfully a lot of time but when you're outside here in the park it's gonna be really difficult to borrow six hours of electricity from someone else like this I don't want to do that so what I had to go out and buy is this guy this is a fast charger for 9 bomb Max scooter. Unfortunately for many of us in North America, you can't buy anywhere but from Segway UK store with 60 freaking pounds. That's no, 80 God, US dollar. Please. That's a lot. However, you can get the same charger much cheaper price from the third party. You just need to match the spec. 42 volt 5 amp charger with RCA X plug. Find the links in the description and comment section below. So using this charger is very easy. All you have to do is just plug and wait for it. One end you just use for outlet. The other one, the RCA X cable, you plug it into the secondary hole that's located right beside the uh, original cable. Anyways, that's been it for today. This is how I amped up my mini scooter. And maybe I'll come with the suspension episode. And until then, see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.